Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for everyone, and welcome home. So in my last video, I pretty much said, hey, let's build this channel together. What do you want to see? And a lot of you said, hey, I really dig that Discovery of the Week segment in the podcast, but it sure would be cool if you did videos on those Discoveries of the Week. So, wish granted. The first one I'm going to show you is my favorite music app for Linux. In my opinion, this beats everything else hands down. So let me show you Lollipop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, that's a really cool new intro for the channel, but I don't have any music for it yet. So I was just kind of singing the Linux for Everyone theme song. So Lollipop is described as a modern music player for the GNOME desktop, but don't worry. Uh, I have installed this on Pantheon on elementary OS. I've installed it on Kubuntu, and that's because it also ships as a flat pack. So if you go to the link in the description, you'll see download links for the flat pack for Fedora, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Arch, FreeBSD, and of course, the source code. Let me show you one of the reasons why I love Lollipop so much. Let's take a quick glance at my music folder. So, can you see this? 107 gigabytes. There are a lot of music apps on Linux and a lot of them are fantastic, but they struggle to deal with super large music libraries like this. So I'm using the Flatpak version from flathub.org and the reason is that this is a very recent version, January 22nd, 2020. Before I recorded this video, I did install the version from the repository for Ubuntu 18.04. And I compared the two a little bit, and this one has a significant amount more polish and more features and just more pizzazz. All right, let's kick off this little lollipop tour by browsing through the preferences. There is some stuff to pay attention to in here that's pretty neat. First and foremost, yes, please. It's 2020 dark theme. So you can continue playback once you close the app. And I usually disable that, but I do enable restore state on startup. So if you're in the middle of listening to a song and you close the app, it'll just pick right back up where you left off like this. fire back up. There we go. So smooth transitions is just another way of saying crossfade, you know, kind of fade out, fade in between between tracks. Allow network access. This is the important one. I toggle this on because there's a lot of functionality here. For example, Last FM, Libre FM, uh, Spotify, a lot of the artwork and bio search from like fan art TV. Uh, there's Deezer for artwork search, YouTube for song playback, Start Page, Wikipedia, TuneIn, Music Brains, it goes on and on. And of course, you can selectively toggle any of these off, like if you don't want anything to do with Google. And under web, you can actually log into your Last FM or Libre FM or Listen Brains. And then up here, you've also got a really nice equalizer that you can customize. You can do some presets or you can just slide it around however you like it. One of the many reasons that I like Lollipop so much is it's helped me kind of rediscover some of those buried artists and genres. And this very first tab is key to that. It's called Suggestions. So it'll present an album of the day and just some, hey, why not listen to these artists? And then it will pick out a genre. For example, this time it pulled up Instrumental Progressive Metal. And Animals as Leaders are amazing, by the way. Check them out. The Popular Albums tab, that's that's kind of your heavy rotation, what you're listening to a lot. Random Albums is self-explanatory. Recently Added Albums is self-explanatory. Okay, so let's look at the complete collection, and I'll point out something else that I just adore about this software. Okay, now do you see this is at super low resolution? This is probably what? 200 let's see what it is so just click on the album art 
And depending on your preferences, when you chose the uh, the network access options, it's going to go out on the web and pull down some alternative album art. I like this one. It looks a lot better. So I'm just going to click it and then boom. Now, depending again on your preferences, it will automatically write that new album cover to the metadata of the, uh, whether it's MP3 or FLAC or AUG, it'll update that file so that if you move your music library somewhere else, it's going to retain that, that new information. And then it will show you other albums that you own from that same artist. And if you have a song playing, check this out. So I'm not going to play very much, obviously, because I don't want to anger the, the YouTube copyright gods. So we're going to start this real quick and then just pause it. So if you just click the now playing area, you'll get a nice little bio about the band. And if you come down here to lyrics, there you go. You've got lyrics. And it's all just presented so nicely. It just looks really clean and really easy to navigate, which I, I really, really like. So the search tab. This is, let's say you were looking for some music to listen to, but you don't own it. You want to check it out. So I definitely don't have anything by, I don't know, Adele. And there you go. Now I'm not gonna play anything here, but watch this. Right click the album, save in collection. Now, if I go back to my artists, there's Adele. And there is the album that I added. Let's see if the metal cover of Adele's Hello is on here. Hello metal cover. Ha <laughs> ha! It is. This is such a cool cover, too. I've also really been hooked on Pearl Jam's new song, but I don't have it easily at my disposal on this PC right now. So let's save this to my collection. And now if you go to the web tab, there's all the stuff that you've searched for and saved. I just really, really love this app. Um, it's called Lollipop. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's got a lot of flexibility. It's very, very user friendly. And if only they added podcasts, guys, please add podcasts. That would be the icing on the cake. So that's just a little taste of Lollipop, my favorite music app for Linux. You can get your own fix by looking at the links down there in the description. And while you're here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll get future videos as well as all of the episodes of the Linux for Everyone podcast under one roof. Thank you for watching. Thank you for engaging. And thank you for making this fun. I'll be back with another video very soon. And until then, take care and take care of each other.